Hi, my name's Andrew. Um, you've been sent this video because you're getting an install from Virgin Media. And um, to say, limit the time the engineer spends time in your house, we're going to look at the things that you can do before he gets there to get it ready for him. So you may find one of these boxes outside your house. It may come in different shapes and styles. Uh, but usually you'll find it'll be a, a wire coming up with two wires coming out, a thick one and a thin one. Um, sometimes you may find if there's no wires coming out of this, then it'll go straight through the box to the other side of the wall. So in that situation, you'll be checking the other side of this wall here to see where it, see where the boxes are on the inside. But in this situation, we've got the wires going up, and they go straight up the building, and then they go in mine's right at the very top there, it goes in right at that top. So I'll be looking the other side of that wall to find that connection. Now sometimes you can find that you haven't got a box outside your house, so you may have something like this. Where you've got the two wires going straight in. So the thick wire and the thin wires are Virgin Media cable. The thick wires for the internet and the thin wires for the telephone. We don't use the telephone one anymore. But obviously for this house we'll be looking at the other side of the wall just here. Okay, thank you. Well, let's go and have a look inside. Hi, so now we come upstairs and we're inside the property. And what we're going to do is we're going to check the other side of the wall that we were just looking at. So the window's there, there's the, there's the edge of the window, there's the wall, so we need to check behind this couch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the table and the chair out the way. We'll leave a nice clear space, so when the engineer does come to your house, instead of him having to touch all this equipment and move it, if you prepare the area so we can touch as little as possible, therefore pass on as least contamination. So here we are, on the other side of the wall we can see we've got the, the white Virgin Media or sometimes it'll say Televest on it. Sometimes you may find that there's a big box like this um, in, in its place. So we can do in different ways. But the way you'll know it's one of ours is you'll have a little screw at the bottom. So it'll be screwed in at the bottom and that's where you're going to screw your cable into down here. And as you can see with mine it goes straight down into the floor. So what I'm going to look for is where does that come back up again. So as you see, mine has gone down, so let's have a little look, where does it come back up? So if we have a look, you can see over here is where all of the virgin connections come up, and we've gone into a splitter, and then from here, it goes to all the different parts of the house. Not every house will be laid out this way, they may be laid out differently, but obviously while we're doing the install, we need to get a wire from over there to the TV over here. So we need to measure the space, so the engineer can give you the cable, it doesn't need to come in, you can supply you with the cable, so we're going to measure it. So in a situation, we need to get it from here to the television. So we need to tell the engineer how much cable we're going to actually need. So we're going to measure it out. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I will need seven meters of cable. So when the engineer arrives, you can tell him we need seven meters of cable, then a splitter to attach the box and the internet to. Okay, so the engineer is going to give you a box like this with all the equipment that you'll need to do the install yourself. And obviously you will be outside on the phone and look at your window to support you. You'll have your cable, which you will have prepared up. I'm going to do that for you. You'll be given an Ethernet cable, a HDMI cable. You'll be given your remote control, your fly lead, your telephone, your power supplies, and your power transformers. Blue ones for the internet, yellow ones for the TV. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the hub out first. The way we can tell it's the hub, is that it stands upright. Now you can see the set-top box it stands flat. We're then going to put the power supply for the hub in, the power supply for the hub in, the power supply for the set-top box in, we attach our figure of eights needs power up. We then need to have our Ethernet cable connecting the hub to the set-top box. If you um, you can connect the, the set-top box wirelessly to the hub, um, but for this this uh, for what we're doing here now, we're going to connect it up wired. And then with the HDMI cable, which connects from the set-top box to the TV. Next, we plug into the television. You've got the telephone connection. From the back of the hub, there's two ports. It will plug into port number one at the top. And then you get your fly leads, that will plug into the back 
of the set top box there. Okay, so we have the fly lead. Now the engineer will make up these leads for you outside before he gives them to you. So what we have here is we have a splitter. So if you look at your splitter, you've got in and out. So it goes in on the single side and out on the double side. So what that means is the out one with the fly lead goes back into the set top box and the other one goes onto the back of your internet connection. Remember, loose connections cause feedback. So just don't just put it on loose. Put it on, keep on turning it, and keep on turning it until it's as tight as you can do it with your fingers. If you do have a pair of pliers at home, you're a little pinch. Not too tight, just a slight little turn with the pliers, just get it nice and tight. Okay? So this is a little pausable moment for you. This is where you can look at the, the equipment now and see what needs to go in. So we've got the hub, telephone, Ethernet, um, Ethernet cable, the, the lead in and the power. On the back of the set top box, you've got your supply in, you've got your HDMI, you've got your Ethernet cable connected to the hub, and you've got your power in. They're the connections that you'd need on the back of these two pieces of equipment. So you can pause that moment just to make sure everything's right. Once you've done that, obviously, you would now need to connect this to the point of entry that we looked at a few moments ago. Okay, so this is the end of the cable that we've got off the splitter, and this needs to go into the bottom of this, right here. So we've already got a screw in here, because we're not going to use that screw. We take that one out, and then we need to screw that in in its place. And obviously this would then go to the other side of the splitter with the set-top box and the internet. Okay, so what we do is we start off with the internet connection first. We're going to plug it in. And if we look on the bottom, if we look at the hub, there's a little power switch at the back. Well, we'll help the turning plugs on. And see now it's starting to come online where you've got the white light at the bottom. So this is going to go through three reboots. So we're going to go the white light at the bottom, it's then going to go to a green light flashing with an up down arrow at the top, with a, a little symbol at the top. It will then go through this process three times. So it's going to give that a few moments and wait for the green light to start flashing. So as you see now, we've got it coming on, so we've got the white light flashing and that'll go green. And that'll be receiving the signal from the box at the end of the street. So we see now with the green light flashing. So what's going to happen now, we're not going to go through the process 100%, but it'll go to here, then it'll go to an up and down arrow flashing, then it will settle down to a wireless symbol, up and down arrow, and a, a solid white light at the bottom. It'll then reboot itself and do it again. And then it'll start, next time it reboots, it'll have the up and down arrow flashing with the white light at the bottom. Then it will reboot one more time, so that'll be the third reboot. And on that one, it'll reboot and all the lights will go off, except for the solid white light at the bottom. When you've got your solid white light at the bottom on the hub, that means your hub's ready to go. You then, then connect to it using the Wi-Fi information on the side, or you can use the little red tab that's loaded underneath. Or you can go at the bottom, you've got all your Wi-Fi stuff down there as well. So once you get a solid white light at the bottom with no other lights flashing on it, your hub's ready to go. And remember, it will take three reboots. Once the hub's ready, you can then turn your set-top box on as well. Set-top box will also go through a little loading sequence. And you'll see it goes to orange light, and then it'll go to a white light on the front. You'll be looking at the TV for this while it's going through its loading screen. You'll see it saying starting up several times, um, but then when it'll go through, it'll go through to another screen, which will be the loading screen. Okay, so you've just connected your set-top box, and you're going to see these little, little things coming up on the screen here. It will automatically run through this, and it will do this screen three times. So it'll complete after once. It'll then reboot. It'll say installation complete. It'll click the OK button on your remote. It'll then reboot itself. It will go through it all the way one more time, then it will reboot. And on the third time is where you'll be ready to start using your services from there. So once you've done this for the third time, it'll go through some screens. The engineer will be there to support you through those screens to get you back up to your TV. And then you'll finish up on your TV screen as we are now. So we've now looked at the set-top box. Now what we're going to do is click the home button at the top to get into our main menu. And we're going to go down to help and settings and over to settings to change some things. The first thing I like to do is it has a beeping sound in the box. I like to turn the beeping sound off by turning the sound effects volume to off. You've then got the option of going into your recordings and you can mess with some things in there. And my favourite one is devices, we can go to power saving 
and I have set mine to always on, but obviously you have the three options you can use in there. You've got named box, I named mine as, my daughter's named mine as Leviticus, but obviously you'll name yours as Living Room. And then your remote control pair, and there is a Bluetooth remote control that you've got off Virgin Media. If it doesn't say unpair the old V6 remote, then it's not paired in. So then you go for the option of pair the new remote control. And on the remote control, there's an info button in the top right corner. You hold the info button in until it goes to green. It will tell you this on screen. Once you've done that, it'll tune it in. Now obviously, you've now done the installation yourself. You've got to the end of it. But do we end there? No, we're still here to support you. So if you think, with these boxes, ask it for help. So if we go to the help section of these boxes, we can bring up all kinds of different things. So program your remote control. So you want to, your volume on your remote control to work the volume on your TV. You can go to program your remote control and it will take you through step-by-step -step instructions of how to tune your remote control into your TV. You've also got how-to videos. So we've got how-to videos there that will explain everything. If we go to more videos, there are all the videos about your set-top box, how to use it, all the different ways, all the different things that it can do. And on top of that, you've got the apps that we supply in as well. So you've got your Virgin Go, your TV control. And um, again, just watch the videos, do what the videos did. All of the help's there. The engineer will be outside to support you. And obviously, remember, be safe more than anything else. And then, um, let's see how we get on from here. Thank you. Bye-bye.